What is up, fellow Pokemon trainers? DX1 here, back again with another Pokemon Go presentation, and today is the announcement of the Water Festival 2.0. I remember the last time we had the Water Festival in Pokemon Go, the very first ever Shiny, Shiny Magikarp, was released into the game, and this time we're getting two brand new Shinies, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting Shiny Kyogre and Shiny Shelter. So, um, as you're watching this right now, the event should be live, so go ahead and get yourselves a Shiny Kyogre and a Shiny Shelter. Let me know if you get it, and tweet me at DX1Tweets, and tw um, send me on Instagram at DX1Games. And we're gonna just go straight into it. It says, soak up special bonuses during the Water Festival 2018. Trainers, it's time to make a splash. Our Water Festival returns June 7th, that's today, 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific time with Water-type Pokemon such as Magikarp and Whamor appearing more frequently in the wild. Some lucky trainers may even encounter a rare Shiny Shelter for the very first time during this event. Plus, enjoy field research tasks highlighting Water-type Pokemon until June 21st at 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So we've got about two weeks. we got a pretty long time for this event, so everybody should get an opportunity to get a Shiny, I think. But, obviously, it depends on your luck. Um, alongside increased appearances of water type Pokemon appearing all over the world, you'll be able to earn three times Stardust for catching water type Pokemon, plus two kilometer eggs will be hatching. Um, exciting Pokemon such as Totodile, Mudkip, and Corefish, and earn double candy and Stardust for every egg hatch. So not only are we getting two brand new shinies, we're getting double and triple Stardust. Triple Stardust for catching water types, double Stardust for hatching eggs as well. So that's absolutely fantastic. Great battles will also feature a powerful water type Pokemon for the duration of the celebration, including the exciting return of the legendary Pokemon Kyogre. And if you challenge Kyogre during the event and come out victorious, there's a chance you'll even encounter its shiny form. So it says, trainers, dive into this water-focused event before it ends on June 21st. So, um, it's going to be a fun event, guys. I'm looking forward to it, especially the times three stars. We're going to get times three. Let me look at my calendar real quick. This is insane. We're going to get times three stardust for almost two weeks. Almost two weeks of times three stardust. That is freaking ridiculous. I am going to... I think I have like, yeah, I just hit 5 million Stardust in my career, and it's the first time I ever hit 5 million. I could hit 6 or 7 million Stardust easily by the end of this event. So I'm thinking that's my goal. My goal is not going to get a Shiny. If I do get a Shiny, I get one. That's that's great, but I'm just going to be catching Pokemon, Water-type Pokemon specifically, this non-stop during this event. So that's my goal, is to go from 5 million to about 7 or 8 million Stardust during this event. That's a huge, huge leap. But with all the Stardust just doubling itself, it's definitely possible. So get out there, get yourself some times 3 and times 2 Stardust. Get yourself a Shiny Shelter and a Kyogre. Don't forget, if you got it, tweet it to me, send it to me on Instagram. I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy today's video, and enjoy the event. Stix1 signing out. There's literally one spot left in this gym. These gym spots fill up so quick. I literally have to run. And all right, cool. We made it. We made it. Um, let's post Espeon. All right, we posted. And literally the only gold gym that I have. Let's go. Good start to the day. Oh crap. Shiny check. No, no, we're not, the rock event's over, we're not doing this again. Red Bank Park, it is good to be back. Um, oh, is there a Pikachu nearby? That is, whoa, that's cool. It's been quite a minute since we were here last because of the events. Usually I never try to come to Red Bank Park while there's an event going on because Red Bank Park is not a good place to catch shiny Pokemon because of the spawns that occur. Because right now, Red Bank seems to be an Abra nest which kind of deludes the event spawns. And obviously during the event, you're trying to get the shiny Pokemon that's available to you. Obviously last event was Kabuto, Ammonite, and Aerodactyl, which we got none of. We were unsuccessful. However, that's not the point. So usually I never come to Red Bank during shiny events. So right now, since the spawns are normal, we can actually get some pretty rare stuff. Last time the event ended, we got ourselves a bag on. We got a Poliwhirl. We got some pretty good stuff last time we were at Red Bank Park. I always come to Red Bank. This is more of like a rare spawn hub more than like a really good grinding hub. So you can definitely grind here at Red Bank, but there's a lot more rare spawns here at Red Bank. 
and we're gonna just enjoy some normal gameplay while we wait for the next announcement from Niantic. We know that Ho-Oh is leaving on the 7th of June. Latios and Latias already left yesterday. So now we're just waiting up to see what the next big move is from Pokemon Go. We should get an announcement by, I say tomorrow or the next day. Probably as you're watching this, we'll have another announcement. We're gonna have a cool, chill grind session today. Let's talk about some recent updates and happenings in Pokemon Go. Let's have a good time. So quick update, there's still Ammonite and Kabuto spawns here. Uh, I guess we'll try and take the Magikarp. While we're at it. Never mind, we're gonna click the Anorith because it's literally on top of the Magikarp. And there's Kabuto right there. No. Full odds right now. Not whatever bad odds I had during the event. All three of them aren't shiny. They're, I, they're just gonna continue to haunt me even after this event, so. <laughs> I hate my life. Wild Pikachu, right here. Non-shiny though, at 280 CP. Going in with the Pineapple Berry and the Ultra Ball, the nice throw. And that's how you catch a random Pikachu for no apparent reason at all. But up to 4.97 million Stardust, even though I spent some of it. Our quest today are as follows. Um, earn a candy while walking with Mew. That's gonna take a lot of kilometers. Um, catch three Pidgey or Murkrow since we're up to normal spawns. Um, we might be able to do that and use a super effective charge attack in the gym battle for three super potions that I'll most likely just be throwing away. But that's our to-do list for today. Let's keep catching stuff. Business kind of just picked up. We got a Doe Trio right here, and we got an Aeron Shiny check somewhere. Actually, right next to the Doe Trio. So we got a Doe Trio and an Aeron Shiny check. But let's click the Doe Trio, and this should be around 720. This should be a good amount of Stardust because I do have the Star Piece on. I'm gonna keep the Star Piece on for the remainder of the time I'm here because we're gonna wait towards 5 million Stardust, a career uh, milestone for me. I'm gonna try to work my way to 10 million Stardust, which is gonna be. A journey that will go on forever, most likely, unless I really, really grind. So, there's a Doe Trio and there's a Tail over there, but working our way towards the other side of this Pokestop for the Aeron Shiny check. And let's see when it's gonna pop up. And there's the Aeron all the way at the other side of the Pokestop. They need to correct that. Like, if a Pokemon's near a Pokestop, it shouldn't be all the way at the other side like that. That doesn't even make sense. And the Aeron isn't shiny, but it's okay because we already do have a shiny Aeron. 969 CP, by the way, on this Aeron. Pretty strong right there. This is exactly what I love about Red Bank Park. I was just strolling around. Um, nothing too noteworthy has spawned. And I'm still mad at the fact that it's been like an hour and a half and I still haven't seen a Pidgey, which is weird. But and Hariyama just decided to spawn, just out of nowhere. And he's going to be at 990 CP. And I don't need to rock the pineapple berry, but um, candies are always appreciated for these types of spawns. And I didn't expect to actually nail the throw with my thumb, because usually I have to nail it with my index finger and toss it really far out. But that is the Hariyama spawn, so that's done. All right, not bad. Pretty good spawn today. I like that. So the objective here is simple for the quest. Um, all I gotta do is land a super effective charge move, which I can do right here, right now, with Raikou. And BAM! That should be enough for the quest, I think. 
Um, I didn't get the notification from the game, but that should be enough for the stamp today because I am running on very limited battery life. There it is right there. So we are going to get our stamp for the day, but I'm not exactly sure how much longer this video is going to last. Um, trying to find two more Pidgeys or Murkrow, something like that. We did catch a Pidgeotto earlier, but my camera was dead. I actually had to swap out the other camera battery for this battery, which is about to die. So, um, yeah, not exactly sure how much longer this video is going to last, but... I'm hoping to get another stamp or two, excuse me, hoping to get another quest or two in before I gotta call it and my battery just goes and dies off. But right now we did our quest for the day, which means we have earned our stamp, so we're gonna back out of this gym battle. As much as I like to take out this Valor gym and swap it back to Mystic, um, we gotta stay focused on our goal right here. So we're gonna back out of this gym and collect our stamp for the day. There's three super potions, which I'm most likely to be throwing out. And again, I gotta catch two more Pidgeys or a few more nice throws to complete all three of our goals for today. So that's how we stand on quest, and not a whole lot of exciting stuff going on in terms of spawns. There were a couple of good spawns, but a little little lackluster today in terms of the rarity, but um, Red Bank is kind of hit or miss when it comes to like rare spawn explosions and things of that nature. But always a good spot to come back once the events end and once we get normal spawns back into the game guys oh my god oh my god what is that i see on the nearby wait for it it's a pidgey i literally haven't been this excited for a pidgey in so long so we literally after this one which is right around there we'll need one more for the quest catch three pidgey or murkrow Yo, not only is there one Pidgey, there's literally two Pidgeys. That is so cool. We literally ran into two Pidgeys by the end. Wow. At the end of the day, everything just seems to work itself out in Pokemon Go. So we ran into the two Pidgeys that we needed. Get off. There's bugs all over my face. But we ran into the two Pidgeys that we needed for the quest. So that's the second one. And now we're going to pick up the third one. Don't you dare despawn. And this is going to be the third, and this little guy. And this little guy is going to be all we need for the quests. And those are going to be the three Pidgey or Murkrow, and that will complete the quest of the day. That's a beautiful way to end it. We, I was literally looking for Pidgeys all day long. Finally, finally, we got the Pidgeotto earlier when my camera battery died, but to end it off with two Pidgeys right next to each other, weather boosted as well. That's some pretty awesome stuff right there. Alright, so there's no raids going on. Um, we completed all the quests for today, and my camera battery is about to die, so I think we're going to end it. All right, going into what appears to be my final um, Ho-Oh raid, at least for a long time, at least until Ho-Oh actually comes back. I'm not exactly sure when Ho-Oh is going to come back. Um, he may come back at a certain point, maybe during the fall or winter. Maybe, I think he'll come back maybe for the anniversary of when he came for the first time, which was around the winter time, right after the Pokemon Go travel event. Kind of like the beginning of winter, Ho-Oh debuted and brought his fiery heat to the northeast and then warmed up the winter a little bit with that 98% that I still utilize each and every single day. So now we're at a point where unless Niantic drops something as this video um, releases, which I think they will, but we're, right now we're at a point of waiting where we're going to figure out whether Niantic is going to release the Reggie Trio as the next rape boss or whether we're going to get another event. Um, maybe a psychic type shiny event, maybe a, um, a normal, maybe they'll release another normal type shiny. Uh, we're trying to think like what kind of shiny could be next to be released or what kind of legendary. We could possibly see the Reggie Trio, Reggie Ice, Rock, and Steel, which don't have a very intriguing high C intriguingly high CP level. I think they max out around 3,300, so nothing too much to look forward to in terms of power, but. Still, it's a legendary that we can read. Now, if they give us the shinies right off the bat for the Reggie Trio, 
That would be pretty insane. Imagine having to get a shiny Reggie Rock, Ice, and Steel at the same time. I, I guess they're going to be like a regional swap rotation. Reggie Ice for a month, then we'll get Reggie Rock for a month, then we'll get Reggie Steel for a month. And so I'm thinking what, what would happen if we got the Reggie Trio. Or we could get an older Legendary coming back. Now, what's rumored is that Rayquaza is going to come back as a permanent level 5 raid boss with a shiny form. So that's definitely possible. We could see that later on. Um, but, there, but there was code indicated in the system that rumored that, but we'll see what exactly Niantic has in store for us in a little bit, as we are in almost to the red on this Ho-Oh. Now, for some reason, my Zapdos snuck in there, so my Zapdos is going to be dead last. I'm going to have to come back in and revive, because we don't really have enough people to beat it in one swing, so we're all going to have to just die out and come back in, so... Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the very last Ho-Oh is going to be a 2170 CP non-weather boosted. So pretty low IV, non-shiny, but it's what it is, the last Ho-Oh, so let's take advantage of it. So hopefully we can catch it. We have 13 balls, so we did work in the raid. So we had 14 balls in total, so pretty much the max of what you can get. I, somebody told me the max was like 16 balls, but I'm pretty sure it's 14 balls you can get max from a raid. Guys, I swear if I catch this ho-oh, it's going to be a miracle. It's it's going to be a miracle. There's no way I'm catching this. Ugh, it's, it's, it's looking bleak. That was literally the first spray throw attempt I had. And it's, it's a crit. Alright, well, ho-oh down, and that's going to do it for this video. DX1 signing out, and um, Hopefully we get a very, very exciting update in the next um, Pokemon Go announcement from Niantic. We're just waiting on them. Niantic, what's your move? We'll see. See you in the next one.